Welcome to Book Talks with Diane. Today's book is Becoming Madam Secretary by Stephanie Dre. New York Times bestselling author Stephanie Dre returns with a captivating and richly dramatic novel about American heroine Frances Perkins, who pulled the nation out of the Great Depression. Raised on tales of her revolutionary ancestors, Frances Perkins arrives in New York City at the turn of the century, armed with her trusty parasol and an unyielding determination to make a difference. When she's not working with children in the crowded tenements in Hell's Kitchen, Frances throws herself into the social scene in Greenwich Village, befriending an eclectic group of politicians, artists, and activists including the millionaire socialite Mary Harriman Rumsey, the flirtatious budding author Sinclair Lewis, and the brilliant but troubled reformer Paul Wilson, whom she falls in love with. But when Frances meets a young lawyer named Franklin Delano Roosevelt at a tea dance, sparks fly in all the wrong directions. She thinks he's a rich, arrogant dilettante who gets by on a handsome face and a famous name. He thinks she's a priggish, blue-stocking, and insufferable do-gooder. Neither knows it yet, but over the next 20 years, they will form a historic partnership that will carry them both to the White House. Francis is destined to rise in a political world dominated by men, facing down the Great Depression as FDR's most trusted lieutenant, even as she struggles to balance the demands of a public career with marriage and motherhood. And when vicious political attacks mount and personal tragedies threaten to derail her ambitions, she must decide what she's willing to do and what she's willing to sacrifice to save a nation. I gave this book 3.5 stars. I will admit I knew nothing about Frances Perkins. I don't think I e had even heard her name. And that's pretty sad. She was an amazing person in our history. And never once do I remember her being mentioned in my history classes. This book was not boring, but it didn't grab me. It was not hard to read but I could put it down and then pick it back up later. It was well written. It just didn't wow me. If you are a history buff or historical fiction is your favorite genre, this would be a good book to read. More people should know about this amazing woman. This book will be available March 20th, 2024. Thank you to Edelweiss and the publisher for my advanced reader's copy of this book, for my honest opinion. And thank you for listening. I hope to see you again soon.